Hello and welcome to another episode of Pyre. Your hosts for today are Ben. And Dave. And we are happy to have you here. Right now we will find out if we actually have a, an ordinary right to commence or if there's foul play. <coughs> Everything is set for the right to commence and all is quiet amid the dry flats as sp at the spring of Jomura. All there is left to do is wait for nightfall to set in. Nice autocorrect. <laughs> um, you observe Sir Gilman sliding back and forth and back and forth. You sense something is weighing on his mind. Tell us about it, Gilman. This night, Aww. this night, this night, this night, this night is not a night at all. This night betrayed his former commander, abandoned his brethren of the Sea Dominion. But what is knighthood even? What is knighthood if it means having to follow such a craven as that Sir Deluge? Cease this nonsense, Gilman. Focus on the right. Focus on the right. Focus on the right. <laughs> he notices you, finally. Yeah, he looks the part. Yeah. Oh, Master Reader. This knight did not see you just there now. Such was his preoccupation with the task at hand. Know that this knight stands prepared. He mm. has no misgivings whatsoever when it comes to battling his ex triumvirate. Yeah. Please consider letting this knight participate, for he has honor to restore. Of course, man, of Very course. Dirty. Then a glimmering within the sky draws your and his attention. God, I love that track. Yeah. That's <laughs> a lot of monsters. <laughs> I, I think I've listened to this one track on, on repeat more than yeah. to any other track on it's, this album. It's really fucking good. <laughs> Gets you pumped. So. Like, if you have over the monster, then there's even a choir added in. Um, so... Yeah, that didn't didn't seem too bad. But then again, I don't want to fuck this up. So. Yeah, that's not it. Ah, the infamous reader returns. Along with her remaining retinue of miscreants. <laughs> Too yes. bad you failed to rid yourself of yet another one last time. Your adversaries in the Pyre Arts. As with you, they must be very desperate for their freedom. They shall not make it any easier from here. Guess not. Uh, Gilman, still not abandoned your new friends? Like all your other duties and responsibilities? Oh, come on. Sir Deluge wrestles, wrestles with his mask for a time. <laughs> this, this knight is most surprised that you have the c courage even to show yourself. You speak of courage, Sir Deluge, but this knight has little else to say to the likes of you. Th that figures, Gilman, y you are no knight at all. You are... Teensy minnow swimming in a sea of minnows many many times your size and with much more honor too <laughs> Then something comes over Sir Gilman. Oh my release oh boy. the dragon But just soon it fades. Sir Gilman slinks away <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god, he's the best the Disgraceful you nightwings you are stupid to have taken that one in and you are no good at the rights and another th thing we, we do not fear you! Yeah, right. <laughs> Tell yourself that, sure. buddy. Go on, then. Oh. Oh, let's take a look at that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Craven Commander. He is a petty worm knight of the Sea Dominion who somehow survived countless battles. He is a worm. He, is, he was a worm knight in the past. <laughs> His astral sign is. Capriast, his crime is desertion, his motive was cowardice, yeah. and he has lived for three years in exile. The senior minion has known relentless underwater war for several millennia. Jesus. Mm -hmm. <coughs> As his population nonetheless keep, kept growing, some worms climbed to the surface to make their fortunes there. The Commonwealth re recognized that Chivaris, their Chivaris traditions and put them to use as frontline fodder. So the Luge was one, one such specimen, but was born with an instinct for self-preservation. So when a half-division descended 
On his regiment one day, he fled just as quickly as his tail could carry him. He was subsequently caught and cast down. And fucking rightly so. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think Gilman mentioned something like that. Like, he has 300,000 siblings or so something. <laughs> yeah, so he, he did. So, what is it? Adventurable Vow. Alright, that's not good. What are you guys packing? Well, I'm not off the sea domain, not even worth a name. <laughs> Alright, he has. Uh, okay, well, more quickness there. Uh, Lady Seagrass. And Lady Shelley. Oh, he has like the Bond villain entourage. Uh, she has no talisman, that's good. And the Grey Slash. Okay. Avenging Aid. Greater Cleave, yeah. Greater Cleave is actually really good, but. I, I didn't choose it for Gilman. Same skills, alright. Alright. Um, yeah, let's actually start with him. Yes, uh, talisman. It's a gift. Indeed. Mm. Let's go for. Hmm. Yeah. Who else? And Bertrude shotgunning worms away. This <laughs> works. Nah, little wretched beings would be wiser not to threaten one of ours. Oh, she she's warming up the crew. She, she, she's warming up to Sir She's Gilman. warming up to Sir Gilman. <laughs> oh boy. C come on then, Nightwings, to show this night how you defend the honor of that miserable minnow whom you harbor. On guard! Yeah, we'll see about that. Boy, oh. Oh shit. That was like a legit ninja duel right there. The night wings assert themselves thusly. Ah shit, that was wrong. Well cast. What just happened? Shame. Oh, vengeful vow, yeah, I get it. Oh shit. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Close one. That was a happy rookie. <laughs> a blow against the yeah, it's just such a nice sound. Mm. Just make it quick and painless on this night because this looks like it's over for us, pretty much. Yeah, you that fucking. Raven, Sir Delish, doubtless using exile as a means of shirking the military service. <laughs> that was the last of them. Woo! And it is done. <laughs> the Serpent Queen. The Night Wings. They hardly deserved it, though, if you ask me. Oh, come on! Mm, come on, nobody asks you to discount Alan Rickman. The right is done. C curse you, Gilman! You were a fool to abandon us, and now you only twist a dagger in our backs. <clears throat> you still do not seem to understand, Sir Deluge. This knight is no longer beholden to the likes of you. This knight is bound only by the path toward enlightenment. Your words ring false. You are unfit to lead. Sh shut up. You know exactly what you are, Gilman. You, you call this knight a craven? Yet your courage is a mere facade. And everybody knows. Everybody knows. This knight shall see to it. Yeah, good luck, man. <coughs> Sir Gilman does not respond, although you sense the words of Sir Deluge got to him. No, don't listen to him. Bask now in the wisdom of the scribes. And here they said old Rookie Greenshaw wasn't ever going to amount to anything. <laughs> um, not that they ever said anything like that about me, since as you know, I'm very well regarded <laughs> where I'm from by everyone, in fact. Yeah, noise. So let's choose a mastery. Uh, more aura. Mm, nah. Let's go for a triple jump. To show me up many mm. 
<clears throat> All right. May misfortune find you ere the turning of the stars. <laughs> Lagging Angus is a gloom filled region toy, but only when I accept Bokwa as residing there. So, why is he so negative all of a sudden? I mean. Yeah, be because he thinks we, we betrayed the rights. But all the salt. Oh. Um, black, back at the Black Wagon, you find the lone minstrel examining, examining your fellow exiles after they defeated the Firehearts with great prowess. They don't look so happy. <laughs> it is plain to you that none of them look well. No, they got summoning sickness. Banishing sickness. Uh, the Lord Minstrel notices you there and turns to you. Reader, the faster turning of the cycles <coughs> has put a strain on everyone. We have multiple cases of banishment sickness this time. It is fortunate that your other companions are available to conduct the coming ride because I fear that this group here requires rest. Oh boy. You bid Sir Gilman a swift recovery and he nods <laughs> weakly in response. <laughs> Exchange look with Bertrand, who ex seems exhausted after, after the last ride. And as for Rupi, it is clear to you that he wishes to be left alone right now. Yeah, it's the second go at banishment sickness. Yeah, uh, I, I really hope that we have one more ride between that so we can. Yeah, it's recover. true. I, I think nobody is sick during liberation. That would be just a dick move. Yeah. Uh, you leave the long minstrel to look after them and turn your attention to the stars that remain shining in the dark outside. Yes. The stars yet shine for you, revealing various paths forward. Cool. Let's seek our destination. Okay. Right, let's see. Um, so, just by rating, we could. Yeah, we could take on the dissidents. I mean, I think we talked about that, but I think they will just take it in stride if we beat them. Yeah. Like, the accusers is just more rah rah, Jizo has fucking banished mm. me bullshit. And yeah, I guess they are out, basically. So, let's. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a tough call. It's either those or those. I can't actually predict who will come out on top. So let's see. They got 9 to 9, 5, 13. Yeah, let's do the accusers. The accusers, yeah. Uh, nope. As much as I love to beat the crap out of him, <laughs> not today. Fucking wannabe Pinocchio. Uh, Um, no, shit, fuck that. No, oh. you guys don't deserve it. Like in a positive sense. <laughs> yeah, let's go to a nest of Triesta. Ah, the metal unicorn, finally. <laughs> the stars revealed to you a path towards the nest of Triesta where the ride shall soon continue. Come on and your travels shall continue. For now, everyone needs rest. No, oh, the writing got kind of sloppy there. Oh my god, it's more, it's like, I think three, oh. Oh, we, we, uh, um, pages pass? Yeah. Alright. Uh, the pile hearts, let's go for that first. Inspect. <clears throat> the words of hope, the swallow, the accursed. The pile hearts all follow in the path of, path forged by the underking Oris, whose many mighty deeds exceed the smallest statue that somehow contained him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true that. He is the most spirited his is the most spirited traveler, their courage unfaltering, their hearts full. Well Yeah Yeah, yeah. Uh. once. <laughs> they live always with vigor and perhaps they die with it as well as well. They are the Underking's own kind, <clears throat> as at home above the sea as in it, never ceasing, ever longing, as they do for something more. The Underking chose wisely for these qualities and teaches that a life devoid of passion is a life devoid of life itself. That burning passion is the fuel that drives the pyre hearts and in turn us all. Yeah, good idea. Not so good, not so well executed by <laughs> um is that blue chest team? Did that the night wings, I saw some yards. And um, Ah, there you go. No. Uh um 
yeah. this is this book is hard <clears throat> i sorry my voice broke kind of um yeah sorry there were like three pages but i have no fucking idea no neither have i what's the essence of sar yeah we um we said with that we were not going to do the list of terms no oh, yeah right because too much yeah buy the game do it yourself all right we had, we had one exciting new page and i don't think there were more that's part we are fairies and mushrooms oh yeah right uh, so gilman is a, is in a um thoughtful mood <laughs> fuck this word <laughs> he has been rather quiet or at least more than usual ever since his confrontation with sir deluge he notices you there and starts forth in a solemn manner. I would oh, like to see that. Yeah, however that looks. <clears throat> this night. He knows what he shall do now, when all of this is over, Master Reader. We worm knights, we are all born and raised to prove ourselves superior to all other billions of our kind, to lead our lives, however short, with glory. From the moment we shove past our wormling brethren in the x hex Ugh. <laughs> to the very end, we are conditioned to excel, to prevail at all costs. This relentless pursuit of glory, of fame, of self-worth, it leads most of this night's kind only to an early doom. Leads. Or, in the case of Sir Deluge, it leads to a life of falsehood. A life of low deceit, abusing one's fellow worm knights, shirking one's responsibility, living in constant fear. This knight cannot abide his former commander, yet pities him. There must be more to honor than to lead a life engulfed in endless conflict. Then he looks at you intently. This knight shall ever seek that honor out, when all of this end is ended, Master Reader. Thus he vows to you, and he is ever grateful that your guidance led him to this new awakening. But until such time, this knight is duty bound unto the Nightwings. This is the fulfillment of our plan, and of our pursuit of freedom. Uh, uh, it is to be his final quest. The plan. Right. F 56, yeah. Cool. For yeah. what awaits him afterward is no mere quest. The honor that this knight has this knight has sought. It cannot fully be achieved through knighthood, can it? It requires something more. I trust you understand. He slips us off his head held high, though not merely in pride. Something has changed in him. Wow. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh. Let's wish him well. Okay, good talk. There you go. Okay, so yeah, I think it's actually good that they are all sick because I was suggesting to um, use the B team next anyway, so they are actually anointing worthy, anointable. Nobody here? Oh, that, what's... What's that? It, oh, sorry, creepy is monster that, thing. Is that a drive-in? Oh, oh my god, oh. It, it just popped Aww. on the windshield. <laughs> That was a bit of a close call there, mm, Nightwings. Uh, you perhaps intend upon humiliating us even more after last time. Yes. Yeah. So much Absolutely. yes. Now then, we have a most pressing engagement soon. I am afraid we've little time for chat. Much as I do cherish our exchanges, we, mu we must beg your leave. Until some other time. Yeah, farewell. Are we? Yeah, we are there. So, like, sure. Okay, so we have We should have time to do vocations. Nah, we don't need no vocations. Pemeth, so yeah, this may be the first one. Leaving you with time for your vocation. What? Come on. Is, yeah, all right. Let's let's go with Pemeth. I actually cannot. Oh, nobody wants to talk. Let's pass the time then. If 
foreboding feeling stuck with you ever since your arrival in the stifling labors of Hyrule Cove. Some of it spreads to others in the group. Is there anything new? The cliffs here form a natural barrier, creating a suitable environment for the harps. Being stuck out here like this sure isn't doing me any favors. <laughs> I don't think I feel good about this place, at least today I don't. You are a bag of bats. <laughs> you decide to focus on pursuing the vocations until the black wagon is ready to move on. <laughs> I'm out of here. Alright, we actually can't do group buffs anymore, but we can talk. Let's do that first. Pamitha, actually. Pamitha is staring out of the window as you approach. I miss flying, Rita darling. Take it, take it from me. It feels this Take it from me, it feels as good as you as, as, as you'd expect. It's not enough for this Commonwealth's roots to cast us down here if they can get their fingers, fingers on us. They make sure we never fly again as once we did. Careful there, you sound like your sister. Also by calling it an act of mercy. Yeah, that's bullshit. Let me ask you something. Hmm? You've learned a thing or two. What have your studies taught you of my kind? Uh... uh so what have we learned about Harps? Your sister is a bitch. Like, mm -hmm. legit. Um, you know the violence they have caused. Uh, the Harps of the Hiding Remnants have despoiled the Commonwealth for an entire age. Yeah, nobody cares. You know that they have suffered. The long-held the hostility between the Harps and the Commonwealth has led to Winged Race, has led to Winged Race ruin. God. It is sad. It is sad that when some of the ancient Harps relinquished their wings, the conflict began. Shall come an ancestor. That sounds unlikely, actually. You know little of her kind. Commonwealth rumors and folk tales are to be taken with a healthy do dose of skepticism. So let's see. Yeah, I mean it's war. Everyone suffered, so that's a safe bet. You shall come an ancestor. <laughs> sounds like bullshit. Yeah, but uh, it's a, it's a kind of interesting option. I mean, I guess when there's demons and talking. Imps and worms and stuff. And trees. But it sounds also like, like I don't know, a, a bit posh. Like, oh yes, I read about it. we share a common ancestor. It's not like, <laughs> I mean, is that what you talk with friends about? <laughs> yeah, she asked. Yeah, I tend towards either suffered or the humorous one. <laughs> Just like I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> Educate us. So what's it gonna be? I, I still like the common ancestor thing. <laughs> I, I really do. <laughs> Alright. You understand that long ago there was only one tribe. They flew together and conquered their known world. But both their descendants were born different. Like with arms. Oh my god, where are the mutants? The windows once had little choice but tempt the land with their, with their hands of flesh. Yeah, you know, that sounds... <laughs> yeah, sounds kind of Over time, the winglers were disavowed, abandoned. It was said that they were born under dark stars. Yeah, but we got opposable thumbs. <laughs> In a time, they formed the Empire, and they fought back. Not all the winged and the winglers were at odds, and famous hubs such, such as <laughs> St. Triasta Pisces Proof kinship could, could be possible. Nonetheless, old hatreds are not easily. Uh, what? Sausaged. <laughs> I, I know that word, but I have never heard it. As right. <laughs> S U H. <laughs> yeah, whatever, that word. That. This is fairly accurate to, to our account of things. So, in a manner, you yourself are a sister to me. No. My kind certainly are known for the good sense of humor, I can tell you that. My little tongue got me into no small amount of difficulty till I learned to keep it well under control. You call that well under control? <laughs> the mountains I come from, the views sir, certainly are something, but there's a bleakness to it too. Being surrounded only by those consumed by the desire to avenge. Exia traje. We're very proud of like we're very proud like that. 
everybody vying to be the strongest, to kill the most of you. That way, you might just get a shot with the prince, with the prince and continue the line if you can even exist. The prince? Hmm. Your understanding is that the mayors of the Harps are all gone, though perhaps one remains. Poor and lucky bastard, I guess. They made, uh, they made as poison spiders do and would slay each other in their sleep, said the Archjustice and Jovilus the Ninth. Who surely I, knows everything about it. Yeah, him. yeah. You know, if someone's an arch of, uh, of whatever, he knows his shit. <laughs> Imagine that being the best case scenario, darling. <laughs> she shakes her head. Fancy thought it amigas. Anyway, I was just thinking, I rather enjoy the traveling we've done. This change of scenery does me some good. Perhaps I'll stick to wandering after all this. You know, all these people have a really weird love life. <laughs> this is well, uh, yeah. In fact, I have a fancy for some wandering right now, if you excuse me. Sure, go ahead. She adds out of the wagon into the stifling bay with its black base. <laughs> yeah, sounds like a good place for a walk. Cool. All right, let's pursue our vocations. We can mentor companion. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think that's only like. Inspiration? We never tried that, right? Uh, I know I did, but I, I'm not sure if, if we did. Yeah, should we just go for it? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so who do we want to mentor? I, I think Tay is not a bad choice. Yeah, no, but actually. Walfred has no level at all. And I'd really like him to have some sort of skill. Yeah, alright. I think Tay is close to living up. Ah, uh, she's not. Shit. Well, let's just hope that's enough. All right. Certainly, I would appreciate your point of view. <laughs> that was passive aggressive. <laughs> you sit down with Rolf to go over the some of the subtler aspects of the rights, such as the state of banishment and how to return from it. You sense he is beginning to understand. Okay, I learned for that it was an <laughs> awesome decision. <laughs> it's like, oh, so that's banishing. I get it. Alright, let's direct the XP. Nice. It's been a while since my last outings in the rides. Begging for your continued patience as I recollect the way. Yeah, no problem, dude. Alright, what's he got? Guardian sapling. If Warfare is banished, the sapling shall automatically spawn near his pie until he returns. That's nice. Final kindling. Once per ride, the Oh, the, so that's the cheat. I get it. Hmm. That's kind of nice. What else you got? Sturdy sapling. Nah. Unstable sapling. I forget which part of it may remotely detonate a sapling horror boss. <laughs> Numbing gust. While Warfred and his allies are banished, adversaries are slowed and cannot use abilities. That sounds familiar. Mm. Alright. Um. Guardian shield. While using a shield ability, Warfare shields his allies as well. That's kind of neat. Stat for soap. Warfare permanent against plus 5 hope. Hastening quickly returns from banishment. He has 16. That's not terribly much. Miracle kindling. Once per ride, if Warfare as for extinguishes fire, it's Alright, that's fucking powerful. Okay, let's let's go for that. I'm down. I mean, he's, he's better in defense anyway. Yeah. Banishment as failure. Mm -hmm. It's a time for careful introspection. Yeah, thanks for sharing. Cool. Uh, yeah, let's continue our journey. Yeah. You oh are my. nothing, reader. Nothing but a mindless simpleton. Your wig looks stupid. Your every action is a stain upon the legacy of the eight scribes. The rites have been a long-held secret to keep out those such as you. But... Someone is taking stuff really, really personal. Yeah, I mean, it's like, I, I, we stay down here anyway. We cannot get up there to share it, so... Yeah. You away from what little sleep you managed this past night, once more the voice tormented you within your dreams. You attempt to read your memory of it. With moonshine. <laughs> if the voice is truly that of the Arch Justice and Robles, the Knights himself, as Warfield indicated, then none of you are likely to receive too warm a welcome should you regain your freedom. As of now, I declare that we will abbreviate that to AA9. <laughs> Let's go. 
lässt. Oh, it's the lava. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, messenger. A messenger in bearing news and rumors from the other side finds you somewhere in the leaves and branches of Black Basin. I bet it's a love letter for Tay. No. That would be sweet. Oh, it's from German. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this time around the news pertains to Dalbert of the Triumvirate known as the Fleet. In the Liberation Rite, he finally earned back his freedom after many failed attempts. Uh, actually... David Oldhausen, when opening the Secretary of the formerly of the Fate has resigned after freeing his son in the Liberation Rite. Yeah, yeah, that's more like it. However, the freedom he awarded to, awarded to his son, Elmer, so he could go home instead, much to Elmer's disbelief. There seemed no way for the two to go together. Yeah. Back in the Commonwealth, Elmer grew reclusive. In spite of his newfound status and the hospitality afforded to him, in spite of Dalbert's wishes for him for his well-being. Oh God, don't oh, squander on. this gift. And as for Dalbert, once separated from his son, his advance. Oh my God. Oh, this is so sad. His advanced age at last caught up with him. He shall not conduct. He shall not conduct another ride. Did he actually write us to? Pull him behind the barn and pull the trigger. Yeah. Just, just add that to the pile, I guess. All of this shook the remaining members of the fate. If they ever, if ever they regroup, it shall not be soon, and you shall not encounter them again. Oh my God! This is so. What did we do? What have we done? Yeah, best intentions and all that. Oh my God! We are monsters. Afterwards, you find Tay on her own, speaking softly to herself. Watch over him, O scribes. Watch over him, O scribes. Oh, please, watch over him. The news bring you no joy. Although you thank the mess messenger in for delivering it, and cling to a hope that the legacy of the old heart clan is not yet complete. Oh my fucking god! Fucking Elmer! Delbert's old Kirk clan that has long celebrated the traditions of his ancestors. Well, it's gone, I guess. Shit, this is like. The worst thing that could happen. Yeah, let, how about we cut the episode on this tune? Yeah, yeah, I, I guess I just, I don't know, go into fetal position and cry a bit or something. <laughs> and to my chemical romance or whatever. <laughs> Alright, yeah, see you next time. Bye.